I want you to stand up at home, because this is what I did last night when Bowden got that kick. I did a daddy dance. <laughs> get jiggy with it, get jiggy with it, get jiggy with it, Blues. Because we're at home. How hard are we going to be to beat? I love you, Bowden. You and me, brother. <laughs> Tēnā koutou katoa, welcome into the breakdown. Great to have you joining us for another week. Sir John Kerwin joins us, as always. Mills Malayana and Ben O'Keefe as well. Welcome back to the programme. JK, the daddy dance. Oh, how out. good. How good was it, though? How, what a game, Mills. And <laughs> <laughs> the death. Like, I, I also love Dalton Popoli'i for turning over that ball late. Um, yeah, I, I just thought it was a really good game of rugby. Intense, though. It was pretty intense. Oh, this is a different blue side, isn't it? I mean, uh, I'd love to see your dance every single week. <laughs> <laughs> the daddy dance. Oh, good stuff. But, yeah, I think, man, they're just uh, they're showing something different. I mean, to go over there and win the way they did in, in Canberra, man, that's, that's, uh, that's a big, big um, task, sort of big tick. I agree. I think the dance was excellent. But, um, <laughs> you know, what this game showed us, it was a, a small taste of, I think, what's to come uh, with the quarterfinals, semis and playoffs. So um, it was test match-like. And it was, yeah, really, really exciting to watch them to get to the end like that. Ben, I wanted to ask you straight off that Damien was, was, was Damien, wasn't it? The ref? Yeah, uh, Murph, Damien Murph. Damien Murphy, Murph. yeah. Like, I thought he started pretty average and it wasn't his fault. Like, the, the, the intensity at the ruck, guys were coming in from offside, but I thought he really took control, especially after half-time, got way more discipline. Is it really hard when you're in that situation? And... It, it is difficult, and that's the thing. Often games that you know start off difficult reflect on, on the referee, unfortunately, um, when actually there's a good process that referees go through. So, you know, players are offside, players are off their feet, um, you know, players collapse the scrum. There's a process that the referee's trying to put that back onto the players to say that, look, this is the, the line in the stand. If you don't improve, there's going to be repeated infringement penalties and yellow cards as well. So that's what I thought he did really well in. He made it really clear what the issues were and then the players adapted. I, I actually just thought you guys just went into half-time and had oranges. And, <laughs> didn't they? We, we always wait for the oranges to come in at half-time, but no, we've got, we got 15 minutes now. Like the, the half-time's actually been extended out, so we get a longer time to chat, talk about what were the trends going on the first half and what do we need to do as a team to, to make the second half better for, for everyone. Do you watch the video? Uh, no, we don't, don't watch video, but we have our TMO comes in, so there's all four of us there, and we'll just discuss what, what we're actually seeing in the game, and hopefully we can go out there and, um, you know, make, make better flow in a game that might be pretty tough in the first half. Well, you know whose chair you're sitting in tonight? Jeff Wilson's, of course. You've got to fly the Highlanders fag and just wind JK up the whole night. Yeah, well, look, I'll, I'll do my best just to be impartial. That's, I think that's my job tonight. <laughs> OK, well, let's get stuck into Super Rugby then because there is plenty to debunk after round 14. Super Rugby with Nurofen available at Chemist Warehouse. We're going to jump straight in and look at the standings right now. This is what it looks like. JK just cannot stop smiling because the Blues have confirmed top spot with a week still to go, JK, which is so important because they've got home advantage uh, for as long as they are in the uh, playoffs. Did yeah, they... and, and Mills mentioned it. Uh, England 2002 came down to New Zealand, won in Wellington, won a test series away. And I think there's moments for championship sides that they've got to do that. And like you said, Mills, for the Blues to go over, and that's a very good Brumby size, and mm. to win at the death really sets them up. And they actually deserve the home semi, regardless of whether I'm a Blues fan, which <laughs> I am. Um, I think the, it reflects, the table actually reflects the form, except for the Jeff's Highlanders, of course, who... <laughs> are still struggling. They're hot at the moment, JK. I mean, I mean, they've, they've now got the top spot. What does Leon, Mac Leon McDonald do? Does he rest players leading into... Because, you know, the, the next part of it, the quarterfinals, it all comes down to that one sort of game. So does he rest players this week? Against, well, he's got the luxury, isn't against he? Against the Waratahs? Um, I, I think it's one of those, you know, when you talk about the NRL and they have that uh, minor premiership and they get the week off, some coaches don't like it, some coaches do, but I think it's so intense that you'd have to rest a couple of the guys. I think there's a bit of fatigue out there. I mean, Bodie's had his rest, so he can play. Um, but a couple of the, you know, you'd probably rotate, but not too much, because you've got to, you've got to keep that confidence going. But it's a difficult decision. This blue side showed so much grit, so much heart. And probably in previous years, they may not have won that game. What's changed? What's so different about this team this year? Well, I think, like, we know I've been involved in games or been watching them as, as a referee, um, the difference is obviously the winning games, they've got that momentum and that confidence. Um, but they've got, you know, large players, big ball carriers and guys that are direct... So you and Barrett direct them around the park, which I think it helps a team. And as you said, it's a premiership winning team and they're doing it week in, week out. And I think, why wouldn't they want to keep that momentum going into the playoffs? 
I want to ask about Dalton because you, you mentioned him before, and in fact, his form has mm. been outstanding. You know, this season. I've also noticed his calmness when he sort of talks to referees. You know, often when there's a new captain, he wants to stamp his mark early, and that sort of sometimes comes across as talking too much. He's not a player that's uh, that's, that's done that. Has, have you been impressed by the way he's sort of kept in the side? I, I have been impressed because I think this was the first year that he did really take on that captaincy responsibility. And so, you know, he was actually asking a lot of questions after games on how he could be better. A week in, week out, from week one to probably week two or three, he worked out, OK, what's his style? And I think that it definitely benefits teams when they've got a good captain that can have a good relationship with, with the referee. And it might be the one percenters, but, you know, that's just it's definitely helped that, that team to be as dominant as, as probably they've been. JK, what do you think has changed in this team? Because they're on a record run, 12 straight wins. You're smiling. First time they've done this, though, since 1997. Uh, Bowden Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think that three years ago there was an injection of really good quality young players that quite possibly would have left in the past. Mm. Dalton Popoli, Caleb Clark, you know, there's this whole group of under 20 players that were really passionate about, um, you know, about the Blues. And I think they've come through and, you know, Leon's brought a discipline um, to the back room, when I say the back room, um, rugby people is not just turning up on sad day, it's actually studying your opposition, understanding your game, doing the little things. And when you listen to them talk, they talk about winning on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And so I think we have a really, I mean, I think Mark Talia Mills, with Caleb out apparently for several weeks, which means um, more than one and less than four, when I thought it meant seven weeks. But anyway, <laughs> several weeks, people. There's something for you to write down. Uh, you know, does Talia come into the All Black frame? Oh, I think he, he does. I think in, in terms of the way he's played, his consistency, the way he sort of, um, you know, controls the game, but how busy he gets. I, I love the fact, you know, to go on your point, I think Leon McDonald's has really built a, a great squad over those last three years, but he's also had the backing of the board. You know, in my opinion, I think you know the Blues area, their franchise is the hardest to keep that keep that cultural side because the dynamics of it being you know you know Northland and, and North Harbour and in, in Auckland to, to keep you know the board has done a fantastic job you know, along with you know with Hori, Andrew Hori, you know the, the CEO and bringing it together to believe in a coach. But this hasn't just been something that's been built this year. It's been those those three years and, and, and believing in the coach and what he's brought through. So he's got a really nice settled side, but he's also got a, a board that's that's really you know backing him in terms of the decision he's making. Do you reckon we just saw the Super Rugby final over the weekend? I think it'd be close, it'd be close, but you know, that's the, one of the beauties of, I think, you look at the top eight and potentially who could, you know, it's not guaranteed who's in the top eight yet, but once we get to playoff games, any one of those teams could beat another team. And then I think that's the beauty of the competition this year. I'm really looking forward to that, um, you know, the next few weeks. Highlanders, Highlanders, could be Highlanders Blues, mate. What do you reckon? <laughs> Jeff, where are you? <laughs> Jeff, are you at home, mate? What's going on? <laughs> Um, you're not here, and your Hollanders are in trouble, mate. They're in big trouble, son. I'm telling not you. Not here to defend himself. It's harsh. Um, yes, we know that Caleb Clark is out for a couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. But if we're talking about injuries, Sam Kane went off as well for the Chiefs. You were down there for that game. Worrying signs for the All Blacks. He walked off. Does that maybe make things a little bit better with that knee injury? Yeah, we sort of... Um, like I saw him as I walked off after the game, and, and he said he was OK, but you, you never know until mm. actually it's pro properly assessed. You know, the next day, once you've had some ice on it. So... Um, look, I hope he's back. He's a big player for the team. He's a big player for the All Blacks that we need as well. Um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. Um, and, you know, hopefully it's only for anyone. It's only for a, f a few weeks. Yeah, he, he wouldn't have wanted to get injured because he's also under pressure. There's some really good guys standing up and, you know, Dalton's breathing down his neck and, <laughs> you know, he's a competitor, Sam, and, he, and he's had a, a difficult run the last few years. Came back last year. So, you know, he just doesn't want any... Any little niggles, amels, eh, you know, when you're trying to get back or, or trying to trying to show some form. You know, he's all, current All Black captain, although Whitelock did it at the end of the year. You know, he, he'll be. You don't need those two weeks off to get. You know, it's the whole stuff around it, the fitness. You know, the the, the game fitness. continuity as well. I mean, he's just getting himself back. His team starting to you know hit their straps as well. He didn't want to go off. I mean, I almost thought, thought he was trying to find some blood just so he could go get a check before he comes back on. But it's encouraging that he walked off. I think that's a good thing. Um, you know, any time that you can walk off on your own without being sort of um, helped off. That's encouraging. It's just the extent of it when once all the bruising goes down. So fingers crossed, um, you know, for his sake, but also, you know, not only just the Chiefs, but also All Black Rugby.